so we will see now how to assign the loads and offset the beam so this is our model so we have to go to load assignment okay so this is the this is showing the start and end position for beam and for column boards the green one shows the it is the start position and the blue one is the end position so you can uh, see it by clicking shift e shift plus e okay so let go and first assign the loads okay we have already defined the loads so let me delete it so i can start it from the first phase so we have to go to load cases and details and then add go to add option okay so we are going to add the dead load first so give the name whatever you want to give i am taking as dl dead load and the second one is i am taking as live load okay so live load i am taking as ll add and close for now we are just taking two and it go in dead load and just click the add button okay for dead load we are going to in member load uniform load okay so here we are providing what uh, load is coming on the beam at every floor so basically this is the wall load which was uh, coming to beam okay so i assume that you know how to calculate it if you don't then so we can see that this actual excel sheet i have made so you can manually calculate by knowing the uh, uh, proper width and height of the <coughs> block work but, or you can make the excel by yourself and uh, just give as i am given see this is the i have taken nine inch wall so outer wall we will take it has 9 inch ball and the inner ball will take it as 4 inch ball so with plaster we will take it 10 inch and the inner wall will be 5 inch okay so right now we are ignoring the plaster that's why we are written here 9 inch ball so height of the so so this is the wait height of the floor okay so this is the height of the floor to floor it is written in meter 3.23 that is 11 feet okay uh, almost 11 feet and this is the beam height okay so you should detect the height of the beam above that level above that block work okay so so from floor to floor right we have to minus the beam depth so that we can get the accurate weight of block work on to come in beams okay so this will be the our UDL acting okay this is the height of the uh, block work into density into thickness okay don't forget to take the thickness okay and this is our total load that is coming on the beam that is how it is coming I have also added the uh, plaster density and plaster work okay. we are taking the plaster density as 20 so concrete density we will take as 22 uh, 25 sorry okay and density of uh, brick work take as 20 and plaster for 22 okay so we should add that also for accurate measurement so it is 15.44 so you have to calculate uh, if the height of the floor differs okay so take it as 15 i'm taking as 15 kilonewton per meter okay for outer beams so we are going to add it and for inner for 5 inch ball okay there is 4.5 inch i have taken so okay let take it let us take it as minus 8 kilonewton okay. that depends on wall thickness okay so you have to multiply the height and the thickness of the block work uh, into density okay so i have taken the 
live load also or and you have to take the floor load also how floor load you have to calculate Cal floor load you have to calculate the thickness of the floor also in here because we haven't assigned any plate in this okay if we assign the plate then we don't have to take the thickness uh, uh, weight of thick uh, weight that is calculated through thickness also because it was already added in self weight okay we already forgot to add the self weight so we have to also add the self weight which is acting on the whole structure that is the weight of the beam and column okay so if we assign the plate with accurate thickness then we don't have to assign the floor load including the self weight okay we just have to assign the plate load but we haven't given any floor uh, plate so we have to assign the floor load so i've also calculated the floor load uh, let me stair load uh, slab load okay slab load so take it as 5.12 the dead load okay it is included the weight of take it as 5 i am going to take it as 5 okay what if you want to take it as accurate so take it what you have calculated so it was calculated from the thickness into density plus 1 okay so thickness into density okay plus 1 why we are taking the plus 1 because we have also considered the if there is any tiling work okay so i am already calculated the thickness of the tiling as 50 mm we are taking the margin okay it was under 30 mm but we are uh, taking the margin that's why i am taking 50 mm so fluorine density is 20 and the super load is coming as 1 okay so it was plus 1 that's why i am adding plus 1 so it was minus 5.125 all, uh, always take the negative at all it was acting in downward direction okay so first assign the self wave to the whole structure okay so just select this and make sure this whole structure is coming on screen and assign to view so whatever is coming on your view that was assigned okay so self rate is assigned to whole structure okay now we are going to assign the dead load or uh, sorry uniform load on uh, beams so this is the outer just select the top view select the outer beams I'm selecting the outer beams okay and assign the load assign to selected beams okay this is you assigned now select the internal beams Selected the internal beams also. Okay, assign the second one, assign to selected beams. Assign. Okay. So, red load is on beam you was assigned. See, you can, if your load was not coming on your screen, then just click this button loads. It will be uh, shown on your screen and you can uh, decrease or increase the intensity of arrows that was coming through loads by just clicking CTRL and rolling out your mouse button okay cursor so it will increase and decrease the size of your load okay so floor see ground floor we, we don't have to take any load on ground floor as it itself uh, transfer the load through soil beneath so okay ground floor load so we don't have to take the slab load on ground floor so that's why i'm taking the above loads oh, just take it as three as it was incoming on node number the, if, let's see if we if we click in this node on this node see so y was at three meter so that's why y is this direction so that's why i'm taking the minimum value as three okay here to here right okay 
so and top floor if value was not equal or less then you can give by another load and then assign to this floor okay but just simply given this value so, okay so minimum value will be if you don't want to give minimum and maximum value just if you provide 12 and 12 then only on this floor load will be applied okay can see and tiles was not applied over there but maybe uh, dead load for waterproofing may be applied so we can also add the intensity of that okay light with concrete okay just i'm taking it as minus 5.125 for all the stuff floors and in live load again go to live load <coughs> and live load only floor will be applied so it is a residential building so i am taking it as two okay to give that y direction three and uh, it may be 12 okay add and close so just click it okay i am not given minus sign here that's why it is showing in opposite direction provide the minus and always provide the minus sign okay see you can check the intensity by clicking ctr i already told you and rolling your mouse button <coughs> mouse so this is applied on every floor and okay load will be applied see and uh, if there is any balcony so live load will differ it will take an up to 3 km and first year so you can check in is code 875.2 okay for all building type what load is applied was written in is code so we already applied the dead load and live load and we have to go for specs okay and specs uh, see this this is the center to center distance so for for uh, multi-story building if you are taking the multi-story building sometimes the deflection was more so if you want to decrease that what should you do you can increase it at corners from both sides so it will act more likely like a live structure okay what we have shown on site okay so for g plus 2 or g plus 3 building and where less than 10 meter building where wind load is not applied you can ignore that but if it was a multi-story like like 20 story or 30 story building then there will be a deflection okay so due to wind load so that's why you can you can correct it and decrease your errors okay i have already added two let's add the another one so you can see how it was applied offset okay you can go on offset by clicking the beam option this is the start option that i have taking the dimension as 230 so it was at center to center okay i am taking about this beam so it was gone on center so the dimension of this beam was also 230 so this was depend on dimension so beam and column okay always remember that see it was depend on dimension of beam so it was uh, i'm taking it, it as 230 so half of that will be increased and and if it is the start end then this end was there okay so we should go in this direction so positive so we will take it as 0.115 that is half of 225 okay we should add it another we have to add it for another position or the same beam okay so offset this end position this is the end position and we have to go to this direction okay like means in a x negative direction we are going opposite to that so we are taking this value as negative so 0.115 okay add and close so let's delete so i am just selecting one beam for for now you can do it in all the beams by selecting it from uh, top view so all the beam will be selected okay 
just remember the start and end position here every dimension i am taking it as same so there will be no problem but where there is different in dimension so you should remember that dimension from where you can calculate the midpoint and the uh, value that was given here okay so start position assigned to selected i have already selected I just click this one also assigned to selected when i selected the beam okay so let's see what's happened in 3d rendered view see here see the offset is one beam is increased to the side level here also it is increased see so you can do it easily by yourself also uh, if you want to see, do it by uh, clicking in one so go to uh, plan view and select them so all them will be selected okay okay so in next lecture we will see how to assign the seismic weight and do the analysis okay